What's up, y'all? Toast and Teddy once again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Deserted Zombie Survival. This will be episode two of season six. Wanted to show you guys my updated uh, base here. Obviously, I didn't use a building that I built. I just blocked off the entrances to this one. If you didn't see my uh, episode one of season six, it's the police station in the big town. Like the town that has pretty much everything in it. Um, placed a fire there for no particular reason other than to just remember that it's there. Like the spikes are there and stuff. Place this fire over here and more spikes just in case something happens to glitch and go through those. I can just jump over this wall because they won't glitch through the wall. But I place these here in case something glitches through those spike barricades. They'll come and hit these spike barricades for sure. You know what I mean? Because they definitely won't glitch through them twice. But, um, like I was saying, I placed this fireplace here. I'm going to make this rotisserie, which is cost four gold, or four wood. Wow, I almost said gold. <laughs> Will you go ahead and craft it? Yeah, it still doesn't cost any wood yet. That's weird. Oh well. Anyway, you go into here, you equip it. And you must place it on top of a fire in order for it to take its actual effect and do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I don't like that fire though. I'm going to place one over here just to show you guys what it does. Let's craft another fire. See, if you use the craft menu in your inventory, see, check it out. Like, you just hit this inventory button down here. You go items, craft, and stats. You go to craft, you could do all these different things. Oh, that's a bat. Oh, okay. That's another uh, melee weapon I don't have in my collection yet. I forgot you could just make them. <laughs> anyway, did I make a fire yet? No. But you go to fire, or campfire, and craft it. In here, it costs wood to build stuff. And costs planks. But if you go to the crafting table, at least right now, it does not, like you saw earlier. So that's a glitch that I believe Master Key City is fixed in the next update. So that's cool. I mean, it's cool having stuff for free and whatnot, but kind of makes the game, you know, I don't know, it almost breaks the game. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say that it does completely, but it's pretty close, simply because you could just gather, you know, 20 wood and 15 planks and have enough wood for the entire game. And... That's just kind of boring. Anyway, you place your rotisserie right over the wood. Or right over the campfire, I should say. And that's how you use it, right? You click on it. And you just select a food item, which I don't have yet. I'll have to go find one. But you, you have like a raw chicken or a steak or whatever they're called. And you just put it on there and it'll change colors. And you want to take it off of the rotisserie before it gets too dark. Because then it's just burnt and useless anyway. But, what I wanted to show you guys specifically, which I think I might have mentioned in my first episode, but now that my barricades are set up, I'm going to shoot a couple bullets, and then every zombie in the area should run over here and just get killed on those spikes. Even the big guys. Boom, boom, boom. Five zombies dead. And luckily for me, I maxed out at level 40 already anyway, so it doesn't matter if I kill more or not in terms of experience. But they do drop things, like these backpacks they drop. I'm pretty sure they dropped a, like a juice of some kind or a, a weapon or something like that. But yeah, some zombies take more than one hit, some don't. Like the runners, the runners come up and hit it and they die right away, but the, the walkers, or the limpers if you will, they get hit and get knocked down, get back up, and they keep doing it. Just like that guy just did. And um, I'm actually surprised there's not a Z or a N type around here. There usually is. And in case you don't know what I mean by N type, it's those giant dudes that take forever to kill. I'm going to try to go find one. There should be one in this town somewhere. At least there was last time I tried to do that trick. There he is. If 
Five more shots, get his attention. Get all their attention, I guess. Run back on over here. And you can't jump without any uh, stamina. So you gotta let your stamina build up, so keep that in mind when you're trying to do this trick. Is that an M16? It is! Wow! That's awesome. I haven't seen an M16 in a while. It just randomly appeared there. That's pretty cool. But anyway, um, that might actually be my new weapon. Because right now I got the MP5 and the AK. I think I might trade in the AK. Just because it's more rare. You know what I mean? I like having the rare guns on me. And uh, obviously the Colt Python I use just as like a, a lure, basically. But yeah, this is pretty much the easiest way to build a base. You just find a building like this that no zombies are already in. Like if I go to that store over there, or the grocery building, you go over there and you uh, build a base. Every time you spawn into it, there'll be more zombies inside it anyway, so it's kind of redundant. But you could build one in here and now they can't get in. And if they do get in, then they have to get past a second set of them. So that's nearly impossible for them. But, um, like I said in the Discord, if you remember that, I'm trying to gather all the different weapons. Right here, I think the... I built the bat, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do have a night stick already, okay. Okay, uh, pretty much I got all the weapons. I think I need to get a fire axe. No, I have a fire axe and a machete, so I don't need the machete that's in there. So I think the last weapon I can get is the uh, kitchen knife. Because this, the butcher knife, is like a meat cleaver, but the kitchen knife is uh, just like a regular knife that you stab with instead of slash with. So that's kind of fun. You walk up and you stab with a zombie in the face or something like that, you know. Anyway, those are the uh, melee weapons there. This one over here, I believe, is my guns. Yeah, the guns that I've collected so far. And I think I might put my M16 in here for now, just because it's so rare. Uh, anything else? No? Okay. And this over here, I guess this is kind of a base tour also. But I got five pistol magazines, or I guess these are Sturogs magazines and AKs. In here, I think, to the right, is Pistol and Uzi, I think. Yeah, Pistol and Uzi, five of each. That's the good thing about using the police station as your base, is because you pretty much have an infinite supply of weapons, or at least guns. And there's five of each of those, shotgun and handgun. There's my bed that I created. Here's the AWP and M... 24 rounds, or magazines, I guess. This one over here. I think this is the one that I need to put my uh, MP5 clips in. Yeah, because I don't have any MP5 clips yet. But, in case you didn't see my first video, once again, I'll show you how to do that. You go and, you c like, this is my MP5 on the top that's all better, souped up. It's got the scope, it's got the... Uh, tactical light. This is the one I just picked up. So you go to it, you select the uh, manage attachments, manage attachments, you select the magazine and you hit remove. Now you have a full magazine to put in this box for later use. That's basically how you have to collect magazines for the MP5 because I've never seen an MP5 magazine just hanging out on the floor or anything like that. But, I mean, that's basically the only things that I've built inside my base. I kind of want to get some raw chicken or something to show you how to cook that. I should have made sure I had a raw chicken before I started this video, but I might just pause it just to go get one. AK, yeah, I don't need another AK. But there's those. Um, this stuff over here. And in case you're curious and you haven't played much of this game and you're just starting three slots for the shirt and four slots for the pants 
is the most slots you can get for shirts or pants. So, and uh, police outfit has four and three, or three and four, or however you want to look at it. <coughs> and most of the hoodies, any hoodie you find, has three sh slots for the shirt. Um, I have denim, yeah, I guess I have denim shirt and denim pants, those are the max you can get. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick just to be able to get a raw chicken and show you how to use that rotisserie, but I'll be right back. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to mention, they actually, it looks like they fixed the uh, draw distance in here too. I've had my draw distance at max for a long time just because it seems as if the more of the game that loads, the less lag you'll have. But at the same time, you can turn your texture qualities down to here and your screen resolution down. And it'll be, I don't know if the screen resolution really makes a difference, but I know the shadows being on, the grass being there, and the texture qualities definitely make a difference in the, in the lag, or choppiness, if you will, however you want to, I don't know if you know what lag is, but that's what it is. It's like when the game gets super choppy and you can't really tell what you're doing because you can't look around because it's so slow. But anyway, I'm going to pause it again until I get a raw chicken and get back to my base, and then I'll show you how to use the rotisserie. Alright, here I am back in the base, on the way there I found a couple more, well I, I mean I stopped by the other police station in the other town and found another MP5 clip so I had to stop and gather that. Anyway, um, you go up to your rotisserie, I found one raw chicken, you click the raw chicken, you hit start cooking, you hit get food, oh it's still raw, okay, I think you have to wait for it to change colors. Error. Oh, now cooking. Wait for it to turn color, then stop it. Move it now, get food. Wooden floor requ acquired. What? Oh, okay. So there's another glitch, I guess. Using the rotisserie and, uh... Wow, I forgot it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that explains why I haven't used the rotisserie in quite a long time. I forgot about that, but... There's another glitch anyway, but did you see, I know you saw, if you were watching, you saw how it changed colors and it said, get food now, or whatever. You just go to it and you hit get food, and it takes it off, but if you wait too long and it gets too dark, then it'll say burnt food and you can't eat it anyway. It's just like a chunk taking up your inventory. But, there's a glitch because I, you saw how I grabbed the food and I got a plank, a wooden floor for it instead. So that kind of sucks, but, um... Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I just wanted to show you guys how to use the rotisserie if you didn't know already. But I'm trying to think of other things I could show you in terms of like another how-to video type thing. But I don't know. I'm kind of having trouble thinking of things because I already made a how-to type video quite a while. Is that another M16 underneath there? No. It's a Benelli. Oh no, it's a sniper. Okay. We yeah, have the Benelli shotgun's actually pretty flipping good. Just because it's got 50 rounds, just like the this Colt Python here, the Colt King Cobra. Anyway, um, if you liked the episode, leave your likes, leave your comments down below. Stay tuned for more. Cause I'll uh, I'll just be pumping out random episodes. But, um, if you have any things you want me to show you how to do, if you have any questions or anything like that, just leave it in the comments. Another MP5, I like that. Why did he give me the baton? <laughs> anyway, that's another glitch, by the way, is there's so many different things spawning in the same exact spot as each other. And no, it's not because I'm just grabbing them all and throwing them aside. Anyway, yeah, sorry. But yeah, just leave your comments down below. Stay tuned for more. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out. <laughs>